you'll love this, Papa. Papa, you're going to love this. I'll tell you why. If I were to tell... You know, you know what? We'll let Brendan tell you. This is Brendan talking about Dave Chappelle. You know, megastar comedian Dave Chappelle. I've heard about him. Have you? Yeah. I never He was have. the black guy from Robin Hood and Men in Tights. Yeah, some people have said he's pretty. He's like he's got a pretty good career ahead of him. Have you seen the movie Half-Baked? God, I remember that. It was my first time headlining at the Comedy Stars in the belly room. I was all excited. I'm like, I wonder why they'd ask me to do it. This was like six years ago. Mm-hmm. Turns out there's like six people in the crowd, yeah. and it was the the opening game of the World Series with the Dodgers. Uh, so there's nobody there, so I yeah. feel like a piece of shit. But then Dave Chappelle walks in. Mm-hmm. He's in the green room. He's like, "Hey, you're running the show." I'm like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, I'm the headliner." He's like, "You mind if I do a set, man? Is that cool with you?" I'm like, "Sure, you do whatever whatever yeah, you want, right?" So we're in the green room talking, and there's like, I'm feeling so sad because only seven people in there. And me and him are vibing. I'm like, this is their vibe. He was, bro. They're vibing. Vibing. They, had a, they shared a moment. Two legends. Two legends. You know what this? This is like if there was a, like Richard Pryor like shaking Carlin's hand, black and white, and we're smoking a cigarette. Like legends meeting. You know? They met all the time. Yeah, yeah, but this is different. We're on Carson together. They yeah, 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 yeah. But imagine, bro. Like, bro. Imagine George Carlton, bro. Bro, he's vibing, bro. They're vibing. They very often were in the same fucking place. George Carlton and Richard Pryder were fucking just vibing. They would go see each other together. Shows. And then Sam Kinnaman came in. Kinnaman. Yeah, Sam Kinnaman came in, Papa. Sam Kinnaman came in and he started screaming. That's what this felt like. Cam Cinnamon. Cam Cinnamon came in, Papa. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's so fucking dope, man. Mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I, I know I paused a lot, and I apologize. Were you wearing that hat when you met him? I was about to say, are you about to sing about how happy you are? Pharrell? <laughs> he looks like a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. <laughs> right? With the flannel <laughs> and the fucking hat. Fuck, it does. Like, looks like the hat the like, Amish would take out to the club on Rumspringer. If the Royal Canadian Mounted Police had a plainclothes division... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Plain clothes, but they. Yeah, he look, the he look, he he looks like Dudley Boo right. He's Ugh. about to fucking. He's he's about to save a woman that's tied to a train track <laughs> from Snidely Whiplash. Oh fucking Dexter Johnny looking Depp ass. From, <laughs> Johnny Depp from Secret <laughs> Window looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, sir. Johnny Depp in real life. <laughs> what are you doing, Seriously. man? God, he's so terrible. Sorry. Mm. And then he's vaping, and I go. Oh, it just ruined our relationship. He probably hates me to this day, if he even remembers me. He doesn't. He's vaping. Mm-hmm. I go, oh, you know those are worse for you than cigarettes. Oh. Imagine you meet somebody who's going to go down in history as one of the greatest comedians of all time, right? Imagine you meet him. And instead of like just being like, bro, it's so lucky, I got like you're in the same, you're both comics, and you're in the same thing. You pick his brain, and you you hope you get like a, you hope you get like a, hey man, you're good kid, good luck, you know, one of those things, like to throw the jersey at you thing, like, and then instead you go, vapes are bad for you, they're not good, worse than smoking. You should shut up unless they're unless you want, unless you're witnessing the famous person do something that to you is just so morally repugnant. Yeah. That you have to speak up, but everything else you should just be able to go. Oh, I can shut up about this. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay. Oh, you know those are worse for you than cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> even Delia. Even By the way, even Delia was like, "Oh, fucking Christ! This is the purgatory. This is the purgatory. When you become one of these disgrace, quote unquote, disgraced comedians." Your purgatory, the way you're let back in is you have to do a show with Brendan Schaub. That's the only way you are going to have to carry him. The, the, listen, if, you, I'm, if you're Dalia, you're a Callan, any of these people, when you get disgraced out there, you got to do a show with Brendan Schaub. You have to. That's this your show, penance. This show is basically like Impact Wrestling. Mm. Like when you fuck up enough, you got to go to Impact and just be reliable for a year yeah. before anybody will fuck with you again. And Bobby Fish over here is fucking being like, I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to get the fuck out of here. Have you heard all his promos? Yes. To like dead silent it's crowds. So it's so funny. I think AW Botches might have some of them up too. He goes, what the fuck you just said? You saw that promo Joe thing with the tumbleweeds? Yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, you know those are worse for you than cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> and he goes, what the fuck you just said? You, you know the vape's actually worse for you than cigarettes. 
He had a chance. He Say could. everything twice. Say everything twice. He actually, God gave him a chance to redeem himself. So let's say I do it and I realize I fucked up. Hey, Dave, those are worse for you than cigarettes. And he goes, what the fuck you say? Huh? I'm just fucking around, man. Who gives a shit? You want a cigarette? You could have saved yourself still. But instead what you did, because you're a buffoon, is you doubled down because you're an idiot. So he goes, who told you that? I'm like, oh, it's, it's just what they say. He's like, who says that? I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Wow. And he's like, my doctor says better. This is why he told me to start vaping. I'm like, but it, I don't think it is. Triple. Triples is best. Triples is the safe to, safest. Tell the kid about the vape, because if that's not true, none, yeah, of it's true, none of it's true. Oh, my God, he's so stupid. <laughs> and he's like, all right, man, and they just walked off. Never talked to him again. All you had to do was say nothing. To be fair, you never would have talked to him again. Yeah, anyway. I don't think I don't think that you would have been yeah. opening for him in his next Netflix special, you know? He's a dumb guy. And I know I know we say that a lot, but like he really is a, he's a dumb kid. He's a dumb kid.